let n be a natural number such that 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus all the way down to 1 over 23 equals n over 23 factorial. Now, we want to find the remainder when this n is divided by 13 or we need to find n mod 13. Now, pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right. Now, let n be a natural number such that 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus all the way down to plus 1 over 23 equals n over 23 factorial. Now, our goal is what is the remainder when this n is divided by 13 or n mod 13. Now, let's visualize our question. All right, so let's insert some terms. We have plus 1 over 12, plus 1 over 13, plus 1 over 14, and so on and so forth. Now, what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by 23 factorial. Now, we know 23 factorial is the product from 1 times 2 times 3 up to 23. So now, if this number, 23 factorial, divided by 13, since it has a factor of 13, then the remainder is just 0. So we don't care to this 23 factorial. Also, 23 factorial over 2, we have a factor of 13, 13. So if we divide this number by 13, the answer is 0. So this is 0. This is 0 mode 13 also. This is 0 mode 13 also. This is 0 mode 13. And all of this are 0 mode 13, except for the middle term because eventually we cancel out the factor of 13 so this is not anymore divisible by 13 so this equation is just 23 factorial over 13 mod 13 so our goal now since this is n then our goal now is to find the remainder when this number 23 factorial over 13 is divided by 13 so let's focus on this result and let's expand 23 factorial now, as you can see, we can eliminate 13 on the numerator and 13 on the denominator. So this number now is not a multiple of 13. So if we divide this by 13, we don't get 0. All right. So now we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 all the way down to times 12 times 14 all the way down to times 21 times 22 times 23 mod 13. Or what is the remainder when we multiply all this number, then divide this by 13. Let's focus on this 1 times 2 times 3 up to 12. This is simply equal to 12 factorial for sure. And then, if we divide 14 divided by 13, the remainder is 1. So 14 is just 1 mod 13. 15 is just 2 mod 13 and so on and so forth. Now 21 divided by 13, the remainder is 8. So 21 is 8 mod 13. And continues. 22 is 9 mod 13. 23 is 10 mod 13. In short, those numbers, when we get together, we have 10 factorial. So we can simplify our result for 23 factorial over 13 as 12 factorial times 10 factorial mod 13. Now let's focus on this result. And from here, we will use some theorem. And this is specifically the Wilson's theorem. If P is prime number, P minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod P. And since P is prime, P minus 3 factorial is congruent to P minus 1 over 2 mod P. So we will use these two concepts to answer this question. Now let's use the first one. So since 13 is a prime number, we can use this, this Wilson theorem. So 13 minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 13. Now, 13 minus 1 is, of course, 12 factorial. So we have 12 factorial right over here. So 12 factorial is just negative 1 mod 13. Next, using the second theorem, so we have 13 minus 3 factorial is congruent to 13 minus 1 over 2 mod 13. 13 minus 3 is technically 10. And here it is. We have 10 factorial. 13 minus 1 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 10 factorial is congruent to 6 mod 13. Now using these two congruence, if we multiply this, 
we get 12 factorial times 10 factorial equals negative 1 times 6 or negative 6 mod 13. Now, we don't want a negative remainder. So let's add 13 to negative 6. Negative 6 plus 13, this will give us 7. Therefore, 12 factorial times 10 factorial divided by 13, we get a remainder of 7. And that is our answer to this question. So let n be a natural number such that it satisfies this equation. Then when n is divided by 13, the remainder is 7. And as always, we are done.